Semen retention is bullshit. And here's why. I never thought I'd be talking about jerking off as much as I do on this YouTube channel, but hey, somebody's gotta do it, right? What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brett Maverick here. I hope you all are having an awesome day so far. Yes, I have a new background. I just recently moved apartments, so uh, I don't really have a studio yet. I'm just filming with my kitchen going on in the background. It actually doesn't look too bad, I don't think. You guys let me know what you think down below. But today we're talking about semen retention. Here on this channel, we've talked about no fat. That's where you abstain from masturbation or jerking off, choking the chicken, whatever you want to call it. So there's this new movement that a lot of people are talking about called semen retention. This is basically no fat, but one step further. This is not ejaculating of any sorts, no sex, no masturbation, nothing. There's a lot of theories out there that this is gonna give you a lot more energy, focus, open your pineal gland, give you some sort of divine manifestation powers. And some of this is actually true and some of it is kind of a load of shit. And today we're gonna talk about that. So the facts are if you stop masturbating, you're not just magically gonna start generating more energy. That just goes against the laws of physics, right? Energy cannot be created or destroyed, only changing in form. But what's true is if you're ejaculating too much, whether it's from sex or masturbation, you're stopping yourself from generating full optimal testosterone levels. In a science case study, they found that on the seventh day after ejaculation, testosterone levels reached 146% of the baseline. That's a 46% increase in testosterone on the seventh day of withstanding from ejaculation. After the seventh day, they didn't rise or fall much at all. So what we find from this study is that although our refractory period is only about 20 minutes, this is the time that it takes your body to actually be able to ejaculate again. That's reloading you with, you know, ammunition, but it takes seven days for your testosterone to grow back to optimal levels. So what I'm suggesting is that the most beneficial practice is to ejaculate once every seven days or so and to do it the way that nature intended by having sex. You see, our bodies have these natural reward systems. That's why when we ejaculate, it feels so good because it flushes our body with dopamine. Your body is rewarding you for finding a mate and procreating with them. So if you're jerking off, you know, and doing it artificially, not the real biological way that nature intended, that every other animal does it, then you're rewarding yourself for nothing. You're giving yourself a false reward. It's like a participation trophy. And this can have horrible effects on you physically and mentally. It can lead to desensitization, which leads to erectile dysfunction, performance anxieties, and even physical desensitization down there. And also when you stop watching porn and jerking off, you tend to have a natural shift in your focus. I know that's how it works for me. When you're not thinking about sex so much, you're not thinking about porn, looking forward to flipping open your laptop later that night, then your focus goes back into things that actually matter, things you have to get done in the day, such as your work, your school, the gym. You see, life is an algorithm. You see, what you put your focus into is what you will attract. So if you're thinking about porn and jerking off, you're just gonna be thinking about that all day and everything you look at is gonna start looking like a penis or a vagina, right? And it's gonna be extremely toxic for you and you're not gonna get anything done. But when you cut that out, all you have to worry about is, you know, having sex when you're ready, when you're naturally ready to have sex, then your focus will naturally fall back into different areas of your life and you'll get a lot more production out of your life. Do you think lions are sitting around thinking about jerking off or thinking about the next time that they'll come? No, that's because their natural instinct is to only do it when they're naturally inclined. When an animal in the animal kingdom's body is ready to have sex, it tells you. That's why you get aroused, why you get horny. So that's why it's important to stop masturbating, giving yourself these unnatural dopamine releases when your body isn't even actually ready. It's not in that aroused, horny state. And that's what's optimal for the life process. So guys, quit jerking off, especially to pornography. It has so many damaging effects. Try to only ejaculate once every seven days. Give this a try or don't. It's your dick. Do what you want with it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn those post notifications on, and until next time, peace.